Hi everyone, let's see how to use the substitution t equals to tan of x to find the integral that we have here. That is, i which equals to the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x. Now to do this we're going to follow three steps. The first step is to change the variable. In other words, to rewrite this integral in terms of the new variable which we've called t and that equals to tan of x. So looking at what we have here, our task is to rewrite this sine squared of x in terms of t, as well as this dx in terms of t. And luckily for us, for the t equals to tan of x substitution, there's a nice little trick for taking care of any sine squared of x or cosine squared of x we may come across. And here's the idea. Using our knowledge of right angle trigonometry, we're going to go ahead and draw a right angle triangle, something looking like this, with our right angle here, and we'll call this interior angle x. Now since our new variable t has to be equal to tan of x, in our right angle triangle we want to make sure that the tangent of this angle x is equal to t. And the easiest way to do that is to let the side opposite x equal to t and the side adjacent to x equal to 1. Now we can see since tan of x equals to opposite over adjacent, we have tan of x equals to t over 1, which is equal to t, which is exactly what we want. We now find the length of the hypotenuse in this right angle triangle, and using Pythagoras' theorem, we can see that that's going to equal to the square root of 1 squared, which is 1, plus t squared. So I'll just write that, t squared. There we go. Now that we have this right angle triangle, we can find an expression for sine of x in terms of t. Indeed, we can now state that sine of x is equal to the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that's t over the square root of 1 plus t squared. And now squaring that result, we find an expression for sine squared of x, that's sine squared of x, which equals to t squared over 1 plus plus t squared. And we now have an expression for sine squared of x in terms of t. Now we need to express this dx in terms of t, and for that we're going to consider the derivative of t which equals to tan of x. So I'll do that at the bottom here. We know that t is equal to tan of x, and therefore dt dx is equal to either second squared of x, that's sec of x, or we could also say dt dx is equal to 1 plus tan squared of x. Now both of these expressions are the derivative of tan of x, and so one might wonder which one of these two expressions to use. Well the key here is to focus on our objective. Remember we need to rewrite this dx in terms of t, and since t is equal to tan of x, the second option we have here would be 1 plus t squared since tan squared of x would just be t squared. So we can state that dt dx is equal to 1 plus t squared, and therefore dx equals to dt over 1 plus t squared. And I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. Now using these two expressions, we can rewrite our integral in terms of t. Indeed, we can go ahead and state that i is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x, which remember is t squared over 1 plus t squared. So I'll quickly write that. That's t squared over 1 plus t squared. And at the end here, we have our dx. But we just found that dx in terms of t is dt over 1 plus t squared. So we have dt over 1 plus t squared. And as such, that's our first step done. We've successfully changed the variable. In other words, we've rewritten our integral in terms of t. But before moving on to step 2, I like to go further and write this all in its simplest form. Indeed, I'll go ahead and state that this equals to the integral of 1 over, well let's see, we have this 1 here, which I'll write over 1 plus t squared, so that would be 1 plus t squared over 1 plus t squared plus t squared over 1 plus t squared. And we still have our dt over 1 plus t squared at the end. Now on the denominator here we have two fractions, both of which are written over 1 plus t squared. 
So writing them both as a single fraction, that becomes 1 over 1 plus 2t squared over 1 plus t squared times our dt over 1 plus t squared. And that's equal to the integral of 1 plus t squared over 1 plus 2t squared. And of course, at the end, we have dt over 1 plus t squared. And now we see that this numerator and denominator cancel each other out, leaving us with i equals to the integral of 1 over 1 plus 2t squared dt. And that's our first step done. We've now rewritten our integral in terms of the new variable t, and we've done so in its simplest form. Now that that's done, we move on to step two. And in step two, we need to integrate with respect to the new variable t. And I'll do that up here. We have i, which equals to the integral of 1 over 1 plus 2t squared and dt at the end. To integrate this, we're going to use one of our standard integrals. That is, one of those integrals we simply have to know. And in this case, it involves arc tan, or inverse tan. And using either of the results we have here, we can integrate this. I have a preference for the second result here. And to use it, I'll go ahead and say that i is equal to the integral of 1 over 1 plus the square root of 2 times t, in parentheses, all of which is being squared, with dt at the end here. Now that I've written the denominator this way, it's clear how I'm going to use this second result. And in doing so, we can go ahead and state that i is equal to 1 over the square root of 2 times the inverse tan of square root of 2 times t plus some constant c. And that's step 2 done. We've now integrated with respect to the new variable t. We move on to the third and final step, step 3, in which we write our final answer in terms of x. Remembering that t is equal to tan of x, we simply copy the result we have here, replacing the t that we have here by tan of x. So that would be i is equal to 1 over root 2 times inverse tan of the square root of tan of x plus some constant of integration c. And that's the final answer. And so that's how to integrate 1 over 1 plus sine squared of x using the substitution t equals to tan of x. And that's it for this tutorial.